what happens is that the clan are sitting there they're waiting for Abu Bakr anhu to get better or to die one of the two and after a while he comes around the first thing he says ma fa'ala rasulullah so how is the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam now the Bani Taymah are quite upset obviously why because they're thinking he was beaten because of this individual he's in the state because of this individual we're here to cover his back and instead of asking about anything else he asked about the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and really Allah this indicates you know the ikhlas of Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu Abu Bakr had nothing to gain materialistically from the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was richer than the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was already a Sayyid in the Qawm. He was loved and respected by his Qawm. But this was his love for the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Bani Taymah will leave, they're upset, they were left. Now his mother says, my son have something to eat and drink something, you know, put something. And he says, how is the Messenger of Allah? She says, I don't know. Just have something to eat. He said, no, tell me how the message of Allah is. Go to Umm Jameel. Now, who is Umm Jameel? Umm Jameel is the sister of Umar ibn Khattab. She was one of the first people to embrace Islam. Her real name is Fatima. So, if you go to Umm Jameel, now Umm Jameel is obviously concealing her iman. Her, her brother is Umar ibn Khattab. So, she goes to Umm Jameel and she says to Umm Jameel, she says, how is uh, Muhammad? My son is asking, he said, I don't really know this man Muhammad and I don't really know your son, son Abu Bakr. But if you want, I will come and I will see and speak to him. So she goes to Abu Bakr radiallahu anh, she sees his state and she can't control herself. She curses the mushriki. And then he asks, how is the message of Allah? So she obviously indicates your mother's here, your mother's not a believer. So he says, it's all right, so you can speak in front of my mother. She says, he's fine. So where is he? She says, he's in Darul Alqam. Then the mother again comes now. Mothers are mothers. Mother comes to have something to eat, have something to drink. He said, by Allah, I will not taste anything. I will not eat or drink anything until I see the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa Now he's nearly beaten to death. And this was his love for the Prophet Sallallahu So then Umm Jameel and his mother discreetly, they take him to the Darul Arqam. And when he goes in, the Prophet Sallallahu sees him. The Messenger of Allah jumps up, he begins to cry, he begins to hug him and kiss him. You know, I, I, you know, I say here, you know, Abu Bakr, when he saw the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu he forgot all his pain. His pain went away, everything he forgot because the love that Abu Bakr had for the Prophet ﷺ is unprecedented. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Brothers and sisters, what you have just been watching is an excerpt from the life of Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu. The man regarding who the Messenger of Allah said, the sun has not risen over a man better than Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu. By the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have delivered over 50 episodes on the life of this great man. If you are interested in studying the life of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, then go to my YouTube channel, Sheikh Zaheer Mahmood, subscribe, press the bell icon, and you will be notified when they are released. The unique thing also about this course is that in the description, there is a question answer session and you can test yourself and your family on what you know regarding the life of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq. Jazakumullah khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.